Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. Nutrition is the fourth discipline of triathlon and Ironman. I would say it is the fourth discipline of any endurance sport. Bonking is the boogeyman, something that needs to be avoided at all costs. Dialing in nutritional needs for sport, daily life, work, recovery, and optimal sleep can lead to big improvements in all these areas of our life. But this requires a lot of research and experimenting, being that each and every single one of us responds to foods, exercise and stress in different ways. Today I would like to talk to you about Super Sapiens, a continuous blood glucose monitor. This is a product that I find truly awesome and useful, both for athletes and non alike. Super Sapiens tracks our blood glucose levels in real time, displaying changes and variations during normal life and during sport. In sport it can be very beneficial because it allows to monitor what is our glucose performance zone, which means the optimal levels of glucose we have in our bloodstream during an activity, allowing to dial in nutrition timing and quantity in a very precise and effective way. I would like to share with you how I discovered it, what I aim to get out of it, the best things I have learned by using it, and who I would recommend such a product to. I'm very happy that after using the sensors in 2022, for 2023, I will be doing this little partnership with them again. So how I discovered Super Sapiens was a couple of years ago, I first saw a post promoting Super Sapiens on Instagram, like an Instagram ad. I was super into experimenting with it. I had experienced my fair share of bonking, subpar training sessions, and had learned the hard way how much fueling can be of importance, even for recreational age group athletes like myself. Actually, I would argue it's even more important because we are not talented, so we need to cheat in every way possible, and this includes nutrition. Before testing out Super Sapiens, my knowledge around glucose was pretty minimal, but not non-existent. I grew up with some type 2 diabetes in my family, and actually had a pretty scary initial diagnosis of type 2 diabetes when I was 21. It was in a period of my life where I was absolutely not exercising, just eating whatever. And I went to do some routine blood tests, and I got the diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. This, I came to understand later in life and after using Super Sapiens, was because the blood sample had been taken straight away after I had ridden my bike 15 kilometers at a high intensity to the hospital. So my blood glucose levels were elevated because of that, because of exercise, but nobody told me that. But this kind of like scary diagnosis got me into studying, about lifestyle choices, about the glycemic index, about managing glucose, highs and lows, spikes, and so on for general lifestyle purposes. My objectives when I started using up Super Sapiens were the hope to understand my body's needs more in depth for performance and lifestyle purposes as a recreational athlete. So to get faster, but also for health and longevity. The most interesting thing about Super Sapiens and continuous blood glucose monitors from a performance point of view is I think the payoff never bonk again on the website would be enough. Super Sapiens, in my opinion, can be a great help to figure out our nutritional and fueling needs. In my case, I believe it will help better my performance on long distance triathlon events and gravel races. After using a CGM for more than a year, I have already made some changes. The biggest one is more carbs before and during workouts. Now I try to head into sessions well fueled and to intake the correct amount of carbs per hour. This has helped me reduce fatigue and get some better results during the sessions. It also really improves recovery. Recovery is much faster because I don't tank my body anymore during the sessions. I'm always fueled well enough that I can head into recovery straight away. And this is another big change I've made is to be really mindful of carbohydrate plus protein combination for recovery straight after the training sessions and throughout the day. This I really found made a difference in recovering faster. One more aspect that I've changed has been meal timing. I tend to eat earlier in the evening nowadays because I saw how the fluctuations in glucose levels impacted my sleep quality. Eating earlier helps me get more deep and restful sleep and better recovery. I would recommend this sensor to, well, in my opinion, this sensor is for anyone who wants to dig deep into their physiology both in regular life and in training. I would equate using Super Sapiens one month out of the course of a year as doing blood work. Even just for the simple fact, you can get a precise reading of your fasting insulin. With a CGM, you will get true results. Finger pricks will always be dependent on the dawn phenomenon, of which I have talked in this video. In my opinion, and I am a super nobody, this sensor is an insane tool to discover more about your body, how it responds to food, stress and exercise. This will allow to further dial in nutrition and recovery. Specifically regarding non-competitive endurance athletes and triathletes, so people who are not gunning for an age group podium. Amateur athletes who love the sport want to progress but are not necessarily looking to end up in the top percentile. I would recommend anyone to do at least a trial. Already just a trial, so one month, will tell so many things about training and recovery 
it can be really incredibly insightful. I would time this trial when we are doing the most race-specific block we can, so as to gather useful data regarding the actual fueling of the race or event during race simulations. This data, coupled with how we physically feel, in my opinion, can be very important. So for amateur age group athletes in the hierarchy of needs, I would definitely put a power meter above a glucose sensor. So power meter is the first thing to get, but a glucose meter I think can be very beneficial, even just a trial with it. I would recommend a more frequent use of this tool for anyone who is looking to qualify for Kona. Qualifying for Kona is a pretty massive achievement and not easy. So to anybody who is looking for an extra edge, in my opinion, looking at optimizing nutrition in the very finest detail could be extremely beneficial in order to get to Kona or Nice or UTMB or Unbound. Using a CGM can be very revelatory regarding upping carb intake and recovery. The way I personally use Super Sapiens during a race is looking at trends. During training, we can see data from Super Sapiens directly on our watch or by computer. During racing, I used the Super Sapiens Energy Band, which displays glucose levels in real time. So in this way, during a race or an event, we can see trends. The first phase is to establish in training what glucose performance zone is optimal for the effort I need to sustain. Glucose values vary based on intensity. A hugely hard all out max effort will result in high glucose values. Whereas a long 10 hour effort will have very probably lower levels, but for a prolonged period of time. So training is all about experimenting and gathering data on what wattage is sustainable for that period of time required combined with how we feel. If I do six hours at 200 watts, taking in 50 grams of carbs, I could probably do that. But the overall glucose levels will be lower and I probably won't feel that great. If I did the same effort, but eating 100 grams of carbs per hour, probably I will feel better, stronger, provided my gut is trained to handle it. Trends come in at this point. Once we have an idea of what glucose levels should be optimal for a given power output in standard conditions, during an event, I rely on trends to see if I'm taking enough carbs. Trends show in real time how glucose levels are trending. If I start to see them decline, it's usually a sign to take in more carbs. Levels can trend downwards for many different reasons. In my case, in Tallinn, it happened because it rained non-stop for a couple of hours and it was getting colder. For this reason, probably the body needed more fuel just to keep the body temp high enough, resulting in declining glucose levels because the body was using up all the glucose it was getting and I fixed this by taking in more carbs at that precise moment. So I'm super happy that I will be able to use and experiment more with Super Sapiens sensors for 2023, which will hopefully help me train and race more proficiently. Another big reason why I reached out to the brand when I first saw the product and this is not sport related is because I truly believe that in an ideal world, if everybody wore a CGM, and I mean everybody in the world, so many diseases related to insulin resistance could be avoided by having accurate, measurable readings of the whole population. This way saving a ton of euros, dollars, money in the healthcare space by preventing problems. But that's another video. I have a discount code for Super Sapiens. I will leave it in the description. Let me know if you try it. Let me know if you found it useful. I've personally found it super useful. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.